Hello friends. Today I will discuss about problems on average and its shortcut tricks. Just keep the fo keep focus on this word shortcut tricks. I will show some tricks which will be required to solve questions coming from this chapter during your exam in very short time. Okay. So average is two type normal average and average speed normal average equal to sum of observations observations by sum of observations by number of observation okay so sum of observation by number of observation is generally called average of that particular number now average speed that is there are number of tricks you have to remember in this case Suppose <coughs> Suppose you are covering a certain distance distance D You are covering that certain distance at peak kilometer per hour and also that particular distance so the distance remains constant in this particular problem you also being able to cover this same distance with another speed of q kilometer per hour so the calculation will of so when you cover the whole distance that is total amount of d so starting from the journey when you end that particular journey so total distance what will be covered total distance that will be covered in that case the average speed in this whole journey will be 2 pq by p plus q kilometer per hour so that will be the average speed during your journey when you cover this speed in a certain uh, in two types of uh, speed so let's if you consider that d is divided in two parts that is if d equal to 30 kilometers of distance and if you run first 20 kilometers um, at an average speed of uh, uh, 10 kilometer per hour and then next um, 10 kilometer at a certain speed of 20 kilometer per hour so total distance so average speed will be 2 into 20 into 10 by 20 plus 10 that will be the equation okay hope you have got this now let's come to the another equation of average speed okay So, let natural number equal to n. So, there will be any consecutive 
any consecutive number will be n plus 1 by 2. So if 3 is the natural number, then the consecutive number, any consecutive number will be 3 plus 1 by 2 equal to 2. Okay. Average of first in natural number equal to n plus one. Average of natural even number up to n. Okay. Will be n plus 1 by sorry, it will be n plus <coughs> 2 by 2 plus 1. Okay. Just a minute, the space becoming very low. So I have to use this. Average of Natural average of natural number up to n will be n plus one by two. Average In, in multiple of x will be n plus 1 by Two. Just memorize it. Just a minute. I'm not going to lace the lower portion. So you have got this logic. Now, let's average of x1 items equal to a1 and x2 items equal to a2. Okay. So average of x1 item equal to a1 and x2 items is equal to a2.
then the average of total items x1 plus x2 equal to x1 a1 plus x2 a2 by x1 plus x2 so hope you have got the logic and hope you have got the tricks of solving problems coming from this chapter average problems on average age numbers anything okay now <clears throat> i am going to erase the lower portion now another certain interesting tricks from the from this section is here okay so let's family average age of P members equal to Q years. Let consider a family where there are P members and their average average age is now considered as Q years. Okay. Now a certain member has left the family. Okay. So, if a certain member left the family, then the average age of the uh, remaining members of the family. So, average age of rest members of the family when a certain member left will be Let's it's consider R. Okay. After leaving the family, when a member is leaving the family, let's consider the certain average age of the rest of the members equal to R. So what will be the calculation? So calculation tells us that the average age of new member equal to R plus P into Q minus
years. Okay. So hope. So this is all about the shortcut tricks of problems on average. Okay. Now it's your duty to memorize them properly so that you can solve any questions coming from this section during your exam hours. Okay. Again, I am telling this. The last section I have discussed the tricks. It sounds a certain amount, a, a little bit difficult to you. I am again going to clear this. What I am going to discuss here. Okay. Let's. There are p members of a family. Let's be equal to ten. So in a family, there are ten members. Now suddenly, one member has left the family. So now what uh, actually becomes the, what the uh, equation becomes it's because it becomes that there are nine members currently present in this family. Okay, so let's the average age of that p members is q years. Let's uh, uh, the average age of ten members in the family is uh, forty five years, and um, the uh, once the particular member left, the average age of that. New equations family. The new equation uh, becomes um, thirty-eight years, and that is denoted by R. Okay. Once a family member left, the average age becomes R. So what now? If you are asked. to calculate what will be the actual age of the particular person leave the family it will become r plus p into q minus r years okay so this is the age of the person left the family hope you have got this stay tuned for the next video till then thank you everybody